Well, a warning for beachgoers who are enjoying these summer temperatures here by the beach. You can watch out. You should be watching out for some balloon-like creatures. As we told you yesterday, dangerous Portuguese men of wars have been washing up on local beaches. NBC 10's Gabrielle Caracciola is live with news of a first nasty sting in Narragansett. Gabrielle? Yeah, we haven't seen any here at the beach today, but I'm told someone was stung last night here at Roger Wheeler State Beach. And as these sightings increase across the ocean, state officials are reminding beachgoers that if you think you see one, do not touch it. The Portuguese man of war is back in Rhode Island. The dangerous sea creature spotted at several beaches this week. If you see one on the beach, don't touch it. Don't pick it up. The man of war is not a jellyfish, but closely related. It can be recognized by its balloon-like float and long venomous tentacles that can be up to 30 feet long. Those tentacles do not have to be attached to the body for them to still pack a sting. And so that's, that's really the, probably the worst part about them. Its sting is painful, causing welts on exposed skin, but rarely deadly. If you get stung by a Portuguese man of war, it is gonna hurt. There's no way around it. The Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management says if you think you found a Portuguese man of war, don't touch it. Instead, find a lifeguard or the nearest employee and let them know. They've handled one sting so far at state beaches and say all lifeguard stations are equipped to help. All of our chairs, our lifeguards have bottles of vinegar now, which is the best way to um, neutralize the sting as soon as you get stung. Regulars on the sand and in the surf at Roger Wheeler State Beach say they aren't too concerned. I'm not worried. Um, we've traveled a lot and we've actually come across uh, Manwar when we were in Hawaii as well on the beach. So I think they're pretty common. Not around here, I would say. I like the water. We like the ocean. We grew up here. So I just keep my eyes open. We don't scare easy. <laughs> And now, even after they wash ashore, they can still sting weeks after that. So even if you're just going for a walk on the beach, it's important to be aware of your surroundings. I'm live in Narragansett, Gabrielle Caracciolo, NBC 10 News. Hi, everyone. It's Mark Searles from NBC 10. Thanks for checking out the NBC 10 WJAR YouTube channel. Click the links on your screen for more stories from across southern New England. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below and get notified anytime we post an update on YouTube. As always, thank you for turning to 10.